this time on Game Grumps. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. Oh, he's kind of got a sing-songy voice like that. I love how it's like, this is the best cuisine ever. It's like hamburgers and <laughs> like, like, a, like a rotisserie chicken. It's like, um... Excellent. <laughs> what did you, buy this at Publix? <laughs> If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Shitting my pants <laughs> would totally shame me as a man! <laughs> that is the most Aaron thing I've ever heard. <laughs> when partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestines, it's decomposed by bacteria released in gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mikan. <laughs> if you can add like an echo effect to that, <laughs> editors, that would be really great. <laughs> <laughs> like church reverb. <laughs> yes. Anus. <laughs> Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's the only thing to be embarrassed about. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello and welcome back. Byak is dead. Oh, you're doing it now? No. Hey, Dan. How's it doing? Yeah. Oh, I forgot the voice already. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, welcome back to Game Grumps, everybody! It's Dan! It's my partner Dan right here! We have our first death, and it's a... it's a bummer! Yeah, it's Byakuya. I was just getting to like him. I was too, man. I was into it. He's Under he, maybe he's fine. Maybe he'll pull through. Yeah. It's, I, well, there's his hand. It could be alive. Under this very table, Byakuya was. What is this, poetry? <laughs> first, I should investigate the top of the table. <laughs> you gotta work from the top down, <laughs> though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is- Nope, no bodies up here. <laughs> the, yeah, this desk lamp. <laughs> Technically, no bodies under there either, because <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> it looks like an antique lamp and it r seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... <laughs> Now's not the time for me. To flinch! I gotta do it! I flinched! <laughs> I let out a shout, as if to encourage myself, and quickly look beneath the table! So everyone's just like <laughs> staring at him, he's like, Ah! Peekaboo! <laughs> Duh! Immediately I noticed an unexplainable smell, like somebody died. <laughs> Rusted iron. <laughs> what died in here? <laughs> oh, sorry, Byakuya. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze towards Byakuya's body. Byakuya Tagami, the ultimate affluent progeny was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone, and then he died! What an idiot! You stupid. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I could do right now, for Piakia's sake, is eat all this delicious food. Is to uncover the truth behind his death! Alright. So that, so the, okay, so the knife was connected to the table under here. Seems that so way. So somebody premeditated this. Adhesive. Hmm, something stuck to the back of the table. It's Ecto Cooler! Byakuya's <laughs> <laughs> spirit. <laughs> when it came out of his body, it stuck to the tape. <laughs> it's like flypaper, kind of. <laughs> uh, is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Oh, so, so he could find it? Oh. Did he kill himself? I don't... I don't know. Like, he was just like, hold on one sec, and the lights went out, and he was just like, Alright, see ya. It's possible. A bloody knife. Is this weapon? Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted everyone da down everyone and thoroughly expected every corner of this old building. So, so thorough. I, I don't know how much more thorough it could have been. And all the confiscated dangerous items are supposed to be placed in that Duralumin case. I- okay, I gotta look up what the fuck Duralumin is. Yeah. Duralumin. Dur- Dur- Duralumin? I don't know. Alright, D- D-U-R-A- Duralumin. It's what- It's called... A portmanteau uh. of durable and aluminum. Is a trade name? For one of the earliest types of age hardenable aluminum alloys. I thought the point of portmanteaus was that they were easy to say and kind <laughs> of like roll right off the tongue. Like a shorthand? Yeah, that shit's confusing. I guess durable aluminum is a lot harder to say than duralumin. Durable aluminum. Durable aluminum. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. The first mass production aircraft to make extensive use of the Dura Lumen was the Armored Junkers J.I. Sesquiplane of World War One. I. I I know this, Aaron. <laughs> Let's move on. God, why do you keep saying obvious shit? <laughs> It's possible they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. It's got some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt that I've never seen before! In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. It's totally unique! Could this be glowing paint? Oh, you obtained a truth bullet. Thank God, I'll use this to kill someone. <laughs> With the truth. <laughs> Night vision go hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Uh, it said they were night vision goggles when you clicked on them, stupid. <laughs> Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Eh? <laughs> then what are they? Perhaps those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? Yeah. They're goggles that let you see at night. What? At night? Yeah. <laughs> Through goggles. It's the opposite of day. What? Day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too, that include knives. So the killer used the tape to glow in the dark so we could see the tape, and then he put on night vision goggles so he could see everything regardless of whether it glowed or not. <laughs> if that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? It would have had a light on it, wouldn't it have? Drip bullet. Uh, uh, let's look at Byakuya's body. The body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. That sounds bad! <laughs> yeah. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Triple air. <laughs> um, I guess that's it, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, what? No, no. Yep. I can't say I've done enough investigating. What do you mean? Oh, there's a blood, blood stain. stain. Okay. Why does Byakuya have neon highlighter blood? Blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood! <laughs> That's a lot of blood! <laughs> There's blood splattered everywhere. I dip one of my favorite books in it to highlight the passages I enjoy. <laughs> even, even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. It's like an old-fashioned quill highlighter. Mm -hmm. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed, but there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. I obtained another bullet. Alright, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure I've, pr I'm, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table, despite the fact that it's just me. I think I'm working pretty hard. <laughs> I need to take a nap. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Alright, everyone, we're done. Yeah, I looked at four things. I feel like this could hold up in court. <laughs> hey. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. <laughs> Myself. <Can I> <laughs> Byakuya's room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Yes. Oh my god, you're a fucking genius! Yes, I do. <laughs> well, now that you meant what do you mean, now that you mention it? <laughs> I thought uh, other shit happened. Remember when he was standing here, and then the lights went out, and then he was dead? Do you think someone could have killed him during that time? <laughs> But why was Byakuya's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. I'm confused! It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my it god. It seems like finding who the murderer is is the key to the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. <gasps> heard something? Yeah, it's what you do with your ears. It's like ear seeing. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you talking about her? Wait, what? I don't know. I guess ask the people around. Maybe Mikan? Because Maybe. she was like stumbling around or whatever? Hey, I missed, I missed to investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it. Do it! Somehow! Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? I am calm! 
<laughs> You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm, I'm careless enough as it is. I mean, I murdered Pyakion. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. I'm terribly sorry about that for, for showing you something so unsightly. Yeah, you made me remember it again. Oh, why do you oh, have to shit. show it again? Come on, man. <laughs> poor, our poor editors. Ooh, I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, when I was stabbing Byakuya nine times in the chest, <laughs> I mean, well, I tripped and the bottle fell on my leg and it looked like jizz. <laughs> well, I mean, I that's definitely what that's supposed to be, right? I, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up, Ayy, it's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Memory deleted. <laughs> Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Memory stored. Sorry. It's in the cloud. Wah, I can't stand it. <laughs> Obtain truth bullet. I'm Bursing forgetting clothes. this exact thing. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what's up? What was her name? Mahiru. Mm -hmm. Koizumi. Mahiru, are you all right? Oh yeah, just fine and dandy. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that what you expect me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Byaki is alive and well, and next he's dead, and I didn't even get a picture of it. Oh, of course I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. Who's the friend that killed the friend? I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. They called Byakuya a friend pretty fast. Yeah. Haven't they known him for like two days? He was the best person I ever knew! <laughs> if... If I had only acted calmer... Oh, if I had only acted calmer... <laughs> sorry, frog in my throat. <laughs> During the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself and blame me. Nothing good will come of it. Ah, oh, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. What? Being the killer and all. <laughs> a, a clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Oh, that's I'm right. I'm taking photos. <laughs> hey, Bianca, <laughs> everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> the world's greatest photographer. Hold out the camera to the side, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the pictures. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. A digital camera? <laughs> Just don't scroll backwards. <laughs> You're gonna see some shit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Please. Okay. Oh, he's not there. The light's on. Hey, what's his face is in the back? There's us. I mm -hmm. forgot that's what we looked like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. She's just sipping red wine back there. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's see in this photo. And then this one. There's okay, Byakuya there's back Byakuya. there. He's like, oh, fuck. He's her. super alive. Whatever. Uh, nurse is the closest person to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Is something wrong? I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than when we found him. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it, the one underneath the monitor? True. Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall farthest away from that table. You're right. That's pretty far. There's no way anyone could have walked over there. There's- There's something. Everyone standing positioned before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, were you? Uh. <laughs> It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I could do anyway. Everyone else is dead now. <laughs> we spent way too much time on this. Thank you. All right, now that that's decided, better. kiss me, you fool! <laughs> you better work hard on your investigation, too! How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do Just what the heck is oh going my on? Gosh. <laughs> you gotta find out how Becky died! Yeah, I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. 
All right. What's up, Gundam? Oh, hellhound earring, answer my call. Impossible. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? No. <laughs> it's not a mere earring. It is the hellhound earring. Cool. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Alright, well, ha have a good day. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable uh, battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. Cool. And his drenched uh, blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. That's awesome. When I finally oh, tamed God. that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Wow, alright, well, I'll see you later. The Hellhound earring. Uh, so that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. <laughs> I wear that earring at all times. Is that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Is it wrapped around his arm right there? I don't think so. I think it was golden. Uh, maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. This is definitely the most important mystery that needs to be solved right now. Well, it's probably related. I would guess so. Fucking... I told you, don't bring your marbles to this room. Don't drop your marbles. They'll that. fall between the cracks. You did say that. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Oh, a, a Wayfarer's bobble? <laughs> You can, what is it? You pay one and tap and you can draw a card. Aaron, you can scry one. Focus. And, uh, Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked towards the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. I Mishra's bobble is better, though. Ah, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound earring. Oh. <laughs> Foo ha ha. It seems God exists for my benefit. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's quite a jump. <laughs> yeah, that's a logic, declaration. But, yeah. I see. Good for you. Let me ask. However. How do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring, idiot. You! Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. Um... <laughs> Is that it on his shoulder? Just like kinda... <laughs> That's what I'm saying, he's got all this shit on him. Yeah. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. And not scarves. Yeah. Or, and hamsters. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine. I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. Now if you excuse me, I need to dip my dick between some wooden slats. Yes. Obviously. He, he wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. I just can't seem to care. <laughs> but it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Slats. Gaps in the floorboard. Me, 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 me. Well, I guess that's everybody. Maybe I should look at the table. Such a huge table. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. Aside from that it's huge. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. No? Really? Okay. Okay. Why are these windows covered with iron plates? Does it have something to do with the renovation project? No! Worrying about that is a waste of time! It doesn't have anything to do with Bianchi's death anyway! Just like beating himself up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. AC. Alright. Remote controlled air conditioner. Hum? An air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, all of you. Why can't you act a little more grown up? Oh. Mm hmm. What was that sound just now? Oh. Did the air conditioner knock out the power? It's probably the only machine inside this room, and the air conditioner's remote control. The timer is set to 11.30! Oh my god! I'm pretty sure Bianca's time of death was around the same time. That's crazy. If so, that means... That mechanical sound before the blackout! It probably came from this air conditioner! Murder solved! Yeah, anyway, he killed himself. <laughs> My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. AC choppers. Truth. Alright, I think that's it for this room. Oh, god damn it. Alright, what else is there? I looked at the table. Oh, should I investigate the actual lamp? I didn't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, that's right, I can't. I looked at everything, didn't I? Maybe the cord? The cord? Nope. No. 
beneath the table. Oh, I guess I have to look generally beneath the table. Oh, no, I already did that. It's going with pain or whatever. Oh, there's a chest. Ah. Ah, this is the metal case Byakia had with him. I believe he said it was made of duralumin. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but... There are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick, and pepper spray, and like a gimp mask. Hmm? What's <laughs> this? A hard plastic case? But it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is... This note from Byakia saying... Uh, what's his name did it? <laughs> I can't remember anybody's name. <laughs> yeah, it's like Koizumi did it. Which one's Koizumi? The one with the the hair and the, the uh, teeth. All right. It must be the key to the other Duralumin case. The other one, the other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralumin case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means... I'd almost guess the murder weapon was the knife found one foot away from Byakuya, covered in his blood. But that- it can't be that simple! <laughs> the weapons inside the Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Did he die? Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case packed with all this security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. Haha, <laughs> in case. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Nah. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? <laughs> now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Uh, Hajime, a moment. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh. <laughs> When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk me out of caution. They talk to me. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. Hmm. But why me? <laughs> hmm. You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a scent similar to mine. Yeah, no shit. Okay. <laughs> we both harbor special feelings towards Hope's Peak Academy. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's we're no time for idle chit chat. If we're gonna go steady, <laughs> I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. We're just protagonists of two different games. <laughs> I guess for now, we should search the inside of the old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. We should consider this whole island the scene of the crime. We should consider this whole planet the scene <laughs> of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good thought, me. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Apparently a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Perfect. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. I just talked to you! I'm over here now. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Why? Oh, because she's got goody hearing. Yes. That's right, she said that earlier. Yes. Eh? How'd you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and us were talking pretty softly just now. See, he not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, and cone head, but I also have perfect ears. Always a good sign. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. Yeah, I heard Byakuya get stabbed. <laughs> okay. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Yeah, especially the one who said, Please, God, Ibuki, no. No, <laughs> don't stab me, Ibuki. Ibuki, please. But he said it real quiet, like... <laughs> Just leave it to a bookie. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? Uh, lolly la la. I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. What? Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Sure. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. She should make a metaphor. Everyone's with in a really good mood, <laughs> considering there's a dead body three feet away. <laughs> He's just giggling. <laughs> she should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Oh my god, he's dead! 
Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'm going to take a bite out of you. Uh, what? If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. What the fuck are you talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what if she takes you seriously? Let's see, the first person to raise their voice during the blackout was... That's right, it was Mihiru! It's a blackout! Hell yeah! Next was Kazuichi's voice! You know who that is, right? Sure. And then the next, next voice is mine! I can't see anything! Which one's soda? It's a mechanic? It's a mechanic. Yes. Yeah, what a nice remark I made! It's to the point, it has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. I think that's when yeah. Byakuya was getting stabbed. <laughs> uh, who's Sai Sionji? Who the fuck is Hiyoko Sionji? I believe that's Ramhorn. Girl. Oh, okay. What the hell? What's going on here? Am I about to die? Ow. Nagito. Oh, Nagito got bumped into. Or maybe he did the murder! Oh my god. Maybe he's murdering him because he hated him from the first game, because they were in the first game together! Oh my god. Makes so much sense. Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Yes. How'd you find your way through the halls? Black here. He found his way through the halls really well. She said, uh, she said her line already. Oh. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall. Something about it. <laughs> All right, is that pretty much it? Bye. Hee hee hee! Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me! Give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Um, how do I talk to women again? I'm unclear. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And th th this is... What do you mean? <laughs> About that. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more and had a bite to eat? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Well, really? Wow. <laughs> Harsh bud, dude. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Then praise me! Let me bite you! What? Ouch! Oh, why are you really biting me? Obtain a truth bite. Obtain a truth bite. <laughs> Obtain bite marks. Oh, he's gone. Alright, I guess I'll go talk to somebody else. Hey, princess lady. Sonya, never mind. Yeah. Um, there's something I want to ask you. Oh, what is it? Um... It, it appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Well, you never seen one before? It's a door that's just to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can want to run away, right? I see. It's like a barrier. <laughs> just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. Um. Yes. Just like that. Exactly like that. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. What? You know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? Fucking idiot! <laughs> truly, I am culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. Thank you. You should be. Thank you for putting me in my place. <laughs> for not knowing everything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's... I guess I'll examine the fire door, eh? Or not. I guess that's not important. Wow, weird. What are you doing here? You're fucking everywhere. Hmm, how come Byakuya was able to say something like that in the darkness? You already said this, man. Makes me wonder. Hmm. Storeroom. Oh, it's dusty in here. I shouldn't stay in here for long. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Leave me alone! It's dusty and dark in here, isn't it? <laughs> My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Alright. Marvelous. Gives a fuck. <laughs> There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. There m we might find clues that would prove yeah, my might guiltiness. Lead to the killer. Yeah. I yeah. guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. 
Okay, that's that's a little sus. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Yeah, a tablecloth. What do you do with a tablecloth? <laughs> Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Uh, uh, huh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. Like shoves his nose in it. <laughs> <laughs> It's too dark! I can't really see that clearly. Especially through this one eye. <laughs> it's no mistaking it! It's clearly a blood stain! Which means this tablecloth is connected to Bianca's murder, right? Or another murder. If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain! Yeah, he's being awful, like, combative right now. Yeah. I don't like his tone. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's something strange. There's nothing strange here. That's the opposite of something. Yes. Yes. Sir. Irons. Hmm. Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on. But, <laughs> but why are there three irons on this iron for? Just as I thought. Get your eyes grip, don't dude. miss. <laughs> Just your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Bianchi after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yes, why do you do that with everything I fucking say? It'd be bad if another blackout happened, bad? so I turned them off. <laughs> if it doesn't feel like kind of sinister, sinister, he's gonna say it. Sinister? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Bullet? Oh, Jesus. Hey, Hajime, how much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already that are less suspect. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I get it, you're right. Um, I don't like that at all. I don't like how he's being so... So, uh... Weird? Weird! About everything. Yes! I agree. But I think I looked at everything already, so... I think so. Yes, I will leave here. I should come it, back and look at the stacked boxes when he's not here. It would tell you if, uh... Um... There was still something to investigate in that room, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... But also, he said, ow. Right after Biakio was like, what, what is this? And he was like, ow. Was that him? Yeah. Hmm. And he was by the table in those pictures. I think it was him. Someone appears to be inside, since it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Hey. hey, is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... We, we only got- we only heard Biakia, because he was on the other side. <laughs> There's no response! This is going nowhere! I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. But... Yeah, and I guess it's just about that time. <gasps> Next time on Game Grumps? Time next time on Game Grumps. We're gonna look in the old building office. Oh, there's people here. So many people. God damn it, this fucking guy. Alright, <laughs> bye. <laughs> He's fucking everywhere. Hey, I'm just gonna just gonna follow you for all all the times. So. Is he? Yeah. Cause Sweet. he's a murderer? He might not be.